Once upon a time, there was a large family of garden gnomes. The four brothers, their wives and children, had tiny hidden houses by the big rock in a glade in a small forest at the back of a house where a little boy and a little girl lived. There was Peter, the gardener, Jake, the forester, and his twin brother, Mike, the miner, and Bob, who ran a local hardware store. The brothers liked to go for a walk together in the evening to talk about the events of the day. Sometimes one of the little ones, Curious Bert, would tag along. He loved to ride on his father's shoulder. Friendly Mr. Squirrel, who lived across the lane, liked to follow. The brothers started off on their walk to the lane. But as they entered the lane, Curious Bert cried out, Look at the sun! It's all red! We're all going to die! Oh, ho, 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 laughed his uncles. Whatever gave you that silly idea? asked Uncle Peter. My, my teacher said the global warming was here and we're all going to burn up like french fries, said Curious Bert. Good heavens, no, exclaimed Uncle Jake the forester. The sun is red because there's a wildfire smoke around. The little particles of ash and aerosols filter the light. That's all it is, and the smoke comes from many miles away. But our teacher read us a Dr. Suzuki article that said, wildfires are a climate change wake-up call, and another one that said, wildfires are the new normal, and they said that we would have wildfires all the time, cried Curious Bert, very upset. Oh, ho, 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 his uncles roared with laughter. Oh, dear me, said Pete the gardener. Is that what they teach in school these days, to be scared? I'm not afraid, protested Curious Bert. I'm not afraid as long as I'm with my dad or my mom. I'm not afraid. Uncle Jake the forester looked at Curious Bert. Well, that's good. But don't be scared. Be prepared. Let me show you something about wildfires. Let's teach you a lesson you can take back to class. Uncle Jake the Forester took a look back at their yard. Now you have a careful look at our yard. And then let's go across the way here to where Mr. Squirrel lives under the pine trees, said Uncle Jake. The Garden Gnome family made their way into the thick bushes. Ow, said Curious Bert. It's so scratchy with all these dead branches where you walk. Exactly so, said Uncle Jake. Mr. Rabbit likes to hide behind these dead branches. But look around you. Dead twigs and branches halfway up this tree. Uncle Mike cut in. I'm guessing this tree is about 50 years old. I remember it starting to sprout when I was about your age, Curious Bert. Right, said Uncle Jake. And trees are just like people that way. They have a life cycle. They sprout like you did, Curious Bert. They grow. They get older like your uncles and your dad and your mom. And then like Grandpa, they start to get weaker. On the trees, that shows up as dead branches. So dry, this is just like kindling to a spark. And here on the ground, said Pete the gardener, look at all these pine needles and pine cones. Once lit, they'll burn. And the flames will go up this tree like a ladder, said Uncle Jake the forester. Now, if you're in a natural forest away from people, that's just fine if the fire starts naturally by lightning, because wildfire is necessary to a forest. That's how the forest renews itself. All the old trees burn up, the pine cones pop open in the heat, the seeds of new trees come out, and within weeks a brand new forest has begun. Uncle Jake said, but you don't want that kind of mess by your house. Let's go look at our yard to compare. Bob, the hardware store dad, said, well, we cleared it all away from our yards. Me and Uncle Mike and Uncle Pete and Uncle Jake, we raked away all these dried needles and pine cones from the big rock. 
and I brought my tree pruning tools, and we cut off all the dead lower branches, said Uncle Jake the forester. Curious Bert looked at his dad and his uncles. Oh, I remember. You did a lot of hard work in the yard, but I didn't know why. Uncle Jake the forester said, so now you can go back to class and teach them something very important and practical that anyone can do to make their house and yard safer from wildfire. In fact, said Uncle Mike the miner, when I get home, I'll send you and your dad the link to Fire Smart because there's lots of other good ideas there to protect people during wildfire season. You can take that to your teacher. Dad, the hardware store owner, looked at his son. You know what, son? I'll go with you to talk with your teacher about it in a friendly way. Some people are so afraid of climate change stories, they sometimes don't even want to hear about how you can keep yourself safe in a practical way. But we'll just have a friendly little chat with her. Okay, thanks, Dad, said Curious Bert. Ding, 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 they heard the supper bell ringing. Time for supper, called out Curious Bert's mom. Supper, I'm starving, let's go, cried Curious Bert. And they all lived happily ever after in their fire smart community. The moral of the story, not every natural event is caused by climate change. And rather than be afraid, learn the practical things you can do to adapt to extreme wildfire or weather risks. Don't be scared, be prepared.